bad reputation And it isn't just talk, talk, talk If I could only give you everything You know I haven't got Don't hang An up. We'll apologist get to you in a site, www.doxa, D O X A W S, has a article that's called The Amalekite Problem. If you're, just real quickly, the Amalekites, um, there's a verse in Samuel. I'll read it real quickly. 1 Samuel, what did I do with that page? 1 Samuel 15, 2 3, uh, it says, This is what the Lord Almighty says. I will punish the Amalekites for what they did to Israel when they waylaid them as they came up from Egypt. Now go attack the Amalekites and totally destroy everything that belongs to them. Do not spare them. Put to death men and women, children and infants, cattle and sheep, camels and donkeys. <clears throat> this is a problem because this is God instructing people to commit mass infanticide and genocide. Which, even if you thought that this was a horribly evil group of people, you have to also then say that the babies were guilty as well and needed to be slaughtered. Not only that, it's colossally stupid. If you're, if you're going to go through and <laughs> annihilate another group, um, why kill the cattle, sheep, camels, and donkeys that you can right. actually... It's not right. like... Were they pagan as well? Are they going to subvert your right. women and lead them away to false gods? So at this apologist site, I finally... I, I found... I was just kind of looking up... Um, just to see the reactions to this, I've, mm -hmm. I have talked to certain Christians about it, but one of the apologists that I was going, I was going to go find somebody, because there's a plenty of apologists who assert that it was totally justified because God said it, and these people were bad people, so slaughtering infants was justified. And I've never found that satisfactory. Um, if you have any kind of moral judgment at all left in you, you shouldn't find that satisfactory. In this particular uh, apologist, I wanted to read what they had to say about it because I found it interesting. He says, the Amalekite problem should be a much bigger problem for Christian apologists than it is. As a Christian apologist, I say we don't take it seriously enough. The reason for this, however, is because the atheists harp on it constantly and no answer is ever good enough for them. I can understand that since it doesn't seem, there doesn't seem to be a good answer, but one does get tired of trying. I am more appalled by some Christians' answers than I am by the atheists' constant harping. In the Old Testament, God orders the Israelites to wipe out many different peoples. But for some reason, the Amalekites have become the icon of brutality and genocide disguised as divine wrath. Christian apologists only make it worse when they try to defend it as a rational action. This usually takes the form of, quote, well, they deserved it. They were really evil. God gave them 400 years to repent, and that's more than enough time. In fact, it's just downright generous. Therefore, it's okay to slaughter little babies, unquote. I always get visions of Gestapo and guys in jackboots. I sometimes wonder what my fellow Christians think about in their spare time. This is one of the basic reasons I'm no longer an inerrantist. Um, basically, he's saying he's not a literalist any longer. I cannot accept the idea that God would ever command slaughter of infants. Slaughtering anyone is bad enough, but to slaughter innocents, that's never acceptable. I don't accept that God would really do that. So here I have an apologist who basically says, I, ba I have to simply say the Bible is wrong here, that either, either the record is wrong or God is doing something wholly evil, and I can't accept God as wholly evil, so I'm saying the Bible has an error. It has to. And I don't really see much of a difference. I mean, I don't see much of a choice for him. You either have to no. say it's okay to kill babies in mass because you're at war with somebody. Or, or that verse was wrong. Or, or there's a problem here. Either God is evil or the verse is incorrect. I have a special message for that individual, too, and then we'll take the calls. Um, I'll, read, I'll read through what he wrote uh, because it's intriguing that somebody's willing to do this. All you need to do is take a couple more steps. Um, all you need to do is realize that it's also wrong, not just to kill infants, but to slaughter entire peoples. Um, that these wars of extermination, these land-grubbing barbarians who used Yahweh as an excuse for everything that they did, um, except for when they couldn't beat the Iron Chariots, uh, that it was all immoral, that it was a fake appeal to divine authority to do this, and that none of that is accurate. And then when you realize that, then you need, to, you need to address the question that George brought up earlier, which is once you've started to jettison these portions of your Bible, what standard do you then use to determine what is factually accurate, what is history versus metaphor, and you have to come up with a standard that is consistent, that produces results that are reliable and verifiable. 
And I'll think that you'll find, if you're honest with yourself, the exact same thing that I found, and then you'll join the Atheist Community of Austin <laughs> and contribute to the show. Bad reputation, and it isn't just talk, talk, talk. If I could only give you